like uh, like an outline before coming up with something digital. <laughs> Is it similar to a carbon footprint? It's what you like leave on the internet. Like a trace of what you do on the internet? Have you ever Googled yourself before? Yes. Hey, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> wait, wait, I really don't want to do this anymore. Me and um, a costume. Cute. Oh, I own a college television network. My super old Twitter, Simone Yoni. <laughs> uh, the second picture is a Relay for Life t-shirt I did a few years ago. Uh, then it's a picture of me, my dad, my brother, a football player, oh, me performing at a coffee house, a picture of six-year-old me walking in Disney World because it's my Twitter picture, a picture of me at a yogurt place, and then Gabriela Montez a bunch of times. A really old picture of me, in a, uh, and I have braces on, so that's kind of gross. It's like my old Twitter from when I was 12 or 13. Um, so that's interesting. A lot of cringy tweets. There's pictures of me playing soccer. I think it's funny how my older Twitter will come up, but my Twitter that I use now will not come up. My GoFundMe when I had one. Um, AskFM. Um. This is the image. I work at a dental office as a dental assistant. And I'm on their website, and that was my picture that was taken two years ago. Oh, I found another picture of me. Okay, I'll do more awkward. It's me and three other of my friends at our high school graduation. Oh, what's this one? If I type in Gabriella Archibald Iona, a picture of me on the campus ministry website comes up. A horrible picture, I should say. It also says where I live, so all people have to Google is um, Gabriella Archibald Iona, and it says that I live in East Hall. And I don't like that. Oh, my internship comes up. That makes me look good. Also, I just realized that my um, internship used a picture of me on the website that I would have never approved. Okay, okay Gabriella S. Archbold. I am 21, and it knows that my hometown is called Dix Hills. It knows that I currently live in New Rochelle. It knows my parents' names. Well, my dad's been dead for years, so if I find anything on him, I'd be kind of shocked. Definitely creeped out that I don't have my parents' names. I mean, like, everything else, I feel like because of the knowledge we have in school growing up, like, creeps in their basement are looking you up right now. I purposely, like, I'm in control of what's on the internet for me. It's the internet. What you put out there, it stays out there. I mean, and you can find, like, anything super easily. Just type your name into Google and you'll find a decent amount of stuff. I just feel like it shouldn't be like so easy access to everything. I feel like that's too crazy. Like I get like employers or like bigger companies that like need to find out about you or something like that. But for anyone, like any person, can just Google your name and everything comes up. It's scary. I think that it's not surprising because you know we've been told that you put it out on the internet. And it's it's there for good. Like my cringy 12-year-old photos of me that I could not get rid of. No matter what I do, <laughs> will always be out there, especially when you search my name. I think it's crazy that you can access so much information for free. I think in today's society, with the use of internet, we're basically selling ourselves, even though like it's free. Um, we're putting our information out there, social media accounts, like we're putting our phone numbers so we can like see our contacts, find them as like followers, and then follow them. And then Snapchat like does the same thing with like geotags, like where your location is, and the Snapchat map, where like anyone can find you. I feel like even though it is like fun, we don't realize like the actual dangers of it. And um, they know everything about us. That's how they make advertisements. Like they follow like your every move, whatever you like Google, they'll find like you're searching for like, a new pair of shoes. Like next website you go on, you'll get like a little ad for those shoes on the side. So basically we are selling ourselves like for the internet.